Thank you for joining. So we have a series of webinars over the coming weeks looking at a number of our Connect products. And our goal for all our products is to increase your member engagement by using the most popular tools in the world and at the same time, make your lives easier. So everyone will be muted through this presentation, enabling us to record it. And we will add it to our site so if it's helpful, you can share it with your team. When you have questions, please add them to the Q&A section and we will allow some time to discuss these at the end. So we're Connect Systems Global and I'm Marcus Smith, Senior Consultant. So Connect for Eventry recently changed their name to Stover and they came out over 10 years ago. And we're delighted that Connect for MailChimp and SurveyMonkey and Zoom and Connect Call Center have been so popular. Our most recent product, the Zoom phone, allowing you to make and receive calls in IMS is getting a lot of traction too. So we listened to feedback from our users to make improvements to each product. So we got clients across the world, lots in the US, Canada, Australia, UK, across Europe, Singapore, Bahamas. And you know, we'd like you to work with them all. Now, when it comes to surveys, SurveyMonkey is the recognized go-to provider. It's liked by businesses for a great feature set and it's trusted by consumers as a safe place to offer an opinion. SurveyMonkey is the default choice for many organizations. More than 98% of Fortune 500 are using it. However, up until now, there's been no good link between IMIS and SurveyMonkey. So what we've created is a way to use IMIS to source the list of people you'd like to respond to your survey, pull the responses back into IMIS to store against their contact profiles. So we're gonna jump into IMIS. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is running continuously as a synchronized process. So here we have an initial top dashboard here in IMIS, and it's showing the response of all our current surveys. At the top, we're showing the active surveys, and we're gonna drill down into these in a bit and show you the underlying dashboards. So these will show responses from IMIS contacts and you'll see the power of bringing this data into IMIS. So already you can see here that we're currently synchronizing four surveys from a total of 18, the number of responses, the most popular survey. And as we scroll down, you can see the response of each survey, the member types of all the respondents and the averages of the most popular responses. So already we're starting to see the power that you get by bringing this data from SurveyMonkey back into IMIS. If we click on the annual conference for the after event thoughts, you know, it's always nice to get feedback after your conferences, which I'm sure you're doing or considering. And I'm hoping you're going to see as um, we go into this, just how easy this will make your lives by bringing all this data back into IMIS. So we're taken to a page here for the after event thoughts. And what we can see is the total responses. And immediately you're seeing the named responses. It's up to you if you want to use named responses or anonymous responses. Um, it's a standard SurveyMonkey feature. I know that for many of our clients, they use named responses for just about everything, but every now and then you need to send out a survey and have anonymous responses. Well, we're capturing that too and storing it all here. Now you can see as we go further down, we've got the survey questions. So how did you rate the event? also all the different people who've contacted. And we can see further still as we go down, the different member types, the average responses per question. And my favorite one that we've got at the moment is the number of responses by question. So, you know, which questions aren't people answering? Which ones are they not understanding? We were able to see that just by bringing this data back into IMIS. If I click on Simon Jones here, so we drill down into him a bit further, then we can see that for Simon Jones, we asked him all these different questions. It took him um, his member type. We see that it took him 204 seconds to complete the survey. All the different questions we asked him and the different answers that he gave us. It really is as easy as that. You've nothing clever to do. You're not exporting or importing anything through Excel or anything like that. We're doing all that for you with our cloud services, keeping it in sync. Likewise, we can also click on any particular question. And here that we see that for this particular question, we have all these answers given by different people. And so you get to see exactly what everybody thought about that particular question. It really is very, very simple. There's a new feature that we've just recently added um, at the response from a number of clients. And it's the quick survey. So here we have 
say for instance um, you don't want to have to go and open survey monkey you know you've set up a survey already or one of your colleagues have you haven't even got access maybe um, then here from imis you can choose one of the different contact lists that will show you in the imis in a second that you set up in imis and we will help you do that in the training but say for instance who came to the annual conference well you can just click send invitations here and send them all an invitation from SurveyMonkey so that SurveyMonkey will gather in all that information with all those questions that we're asking here in this particular dashboard. And so all those questions will be sent to the people and as their responses come back in, so we'll see it built up here in the list. It really is very, very simple. So how does it all work in IMIS? The simplest component is the survey control component. And here what we see is every single survey that we're synchronizing with your survey monkey and you just choose here if you want it to be synchronizing so you literally just click on the pencil and say yes i do want it synchronizing no i don't want it synchronizing and it really is as easy as that so you just untick it if you want to stop synchronizing and tick it if you want it to synchronize in the future and there's also um a quiz mode some of you will have noticed over here on the right hand side well this came about a few years ago because an Australian client asks um, their members to fill out the answer to around 50 questions quite hard questions um, before they're allowed to renew their membership just to make sure um, they're still fit for the regulatory purposes they have and so all that um, is quiz mode what it does is it brings back the score from survey monkey on how people got on with that quiz for you can then work out they're not given their uh, membership or not well you might have other purposes for it you might have other reasons for asking questions of your members as complicated as you want because it is survey monkey after all could do very complicated um exams and so you can bring all that good information back to imis as well so this page is really just about setting up is this are you synchronizing this and switching it on and off. And then um, is it a quiz or not? If we close that one and we go to the next one. Now, this is the contact list. Do you remember earlier when we did the quick survey? This is all the different contact lists in IMIS that you want to synchronize with your survey monkey. So for instance, here I've got the um, members that live in Texas or in the New York chapter, um, or who came to uh, the annual conference or um, who lives in New South Wales, or South Dakota chapter. It's basically any groupings that you could think of, whether they're linked by user-defined field or member type, or you choose what different groupings you want to send your survey to. And the nice thing is our cloud services will keep it in the sync with your survey monkey. So as somebody signs up for one of these particular things, or they sign up as a new member, or they sign up to an event, they're automatically being sent over to your survey monkey so that when you go there, there's nothing else for you to do. I'm just going to close this tab and let's jump into Survey Monkey for a minute. So here we have um, our annual conference survey, and you, in the usual way that you do in Survey Monkey, um, and do have a practice with it and make sure you know you like it. It's used by so much of the world because it is an excellent, excellent system. Um, so you build up the questions you want with the different answers you want, and whether those are uh, drop downs or uh, radio box questions, all that good stuff. And then when you want to send it is when the power of linking it to IMIS really comes in, because here we are on the responses page. If I add the responses, I click on the contacts and I say, OK, I want to send it to everybody who's registered for the annual conference. And this is just an IQA from IMIS who's coming to the annual conference. And I literally just add it into that. And it's always in sync. It's always being synchronized with our with your IMIS. So then you send out your survey and SurveyMonkey does what it does best, which is whitelist, get it to your clients and bring you back the responses to IMIS using our cloud services. So the beautiful thing about it is SurveyMonkey is being made really empowered and made really simple that you can send out your surveys from within SurveyMonkey itself. You can do it here via the quick survey. One other little feature we've had that some people have asked for. Um, here we have an IMIS contact profile for a chap called Simon Jones. We were looking at his record earlier. And we can also just add a little tab if you would like it to your staff site. So that, you know, here we've, it's just the usual IMIS profile. Um, in this case, it's got our Zoom registration tool. 
Um, but in this case here, his survey results are also being brought back for the annual conference. But this could be for any surveys you want or all surveys, it's entirely up to you. So you can have the survey results coming back on the IMIS profile for your staff to see if you'd like them to. So with SurveyMonkey being such a widely used and trusted tool, um, it doesn't make sense to try and replicate survey functionality within IMIS, not when there's this much power available, made easy. Um, linking the ability to create contact lists, invite responses, synchronize results. And that's what connects for SurveyMonkey is, you know, leading this survey functionality for IMIS. So do I have any questions? Just having a quick look. There's a question here about which versions of IMIS does this work for? Um, so we designed this using the REST API. So it works for all versions of IMIS 2017 um, and also for EMS clients. And it's built using the way that ASI prefers. So it preserves your upgrade functionality. Um, and whilst just giving, giving you the best of both SurveyMonkey and IMIS. I'm not seeing any other questions. So um, if I just share this. The most recent features we've brought out is the quick survey that we've just brought out recently. Um, and we've just made a load of updates to the dashboards that we're going to be rolling out to clients. Um, and uh, yeah, so they're now available. So if you would like to talk to us about any of our products, um, do reach out to me at msmith at connectsystemsglobal.com. Um, and we'll be in touch anyway. Like I say, we'll be popping this webinar on our website in the coming days. So thank you so much for joining. I do appreciate it. I hope you've seen from this survey monkey and IMIS together can be. And I look forward to speaking with you soon, hopefully. Many thanks. Bye-bye.